Oh, this is way cool. Look at these. These are the Simpsons stand-up arcade machines. These are normally $5.29 and they're on clearance for $1.99. This is actually on secret clearance. This is 40 bucks, normally 70. And I think that's almost like 40% off. What's going on everybody? This is Justin, otherwise known as the Flipping Accountant. Today we're gonna to do something a little different. We're gonna do some clearance hunting, but instead of trying to see how much we can spend, we're gonna see how much we can save at one store by looking for clearance deal. I'm a full-time CPA and in my spare time, I go to stores like Walmart, Target, Kohl's, Michael's, buy stuff and resell it on the internet. So if you're into reselling content, making money, fun stuff like that, click that subscribe button. Little change up, little something different just to be, uh, you know, just to be a little different, just for fun. So anyways, let's jump right in. Hopefully we find some good stuff. We'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, so we are in the clearance section and we've got some loud music. So we might have to do some voiceover. We've got some beef jerky, 60 cents off, not a big deal. Kites, only a couple bucks off. Not a good start, but we'll see what we can find. Looks like we've got somebody else looking for deals too. So let's see, we've got Elmer's glue, 80 cents off. This is definitely not what we want to see, 50 cents off when we're looking to uh, save money on clearance stuff. So, so let's see, we've got our first find right here. We've got some Ninjago Lego sets. And this is 32 bucks. This is normally a $40 set. So that would be like $8 savings. So it's only like 20%. So we're actually gonna pass on those right there. Not starting off too strong here in the clearance section, but we always have to take the time to look. So next, I'm going to go to the video game section and then maybe we'll check out the toys and Lego and see if we can find anything there. You want to make sure you're looking on the end caps and the aisles too to see what other clearance they might have. And they do have some calendars for $4.97 that are normally $9.96. So each one of these, I would technically be saving $5 off the normal price. But I did scan some of these, like this one's selling for $15, but after fees, it's not really worth it. So look at that little trash panda right there i did scan through some of these i don't see any that are jumping out at me maybe i'll overlook some but i have sold calendars before and made money all right let's see if we have any video games worth picking up got some madden 21s those are normally 19.93 they're selling for five bucks a piece so that might not be a bad pickup i'll have to look on amazon to see if it's worth it uh, let's check the switch Got some weird note over there. I don't see any Switch games on sale, but you never know. That's why we always double check. We do have some systems in stock. They've got quite a few Xbox S's in stock, but I don't need to pick up any of those. Now this is something that might be on clearance back here. Oh, this is way cool. Look at these. These are the Simpsons stand-up arcade machines. These are normally $5.29 and they're on clearance for $1.99. So that would be $330 savings for this. And it's two games. And this looks like it's pretty cool. But this would be a $330 savings for a unit like this. Let's see, I'll show you guys the barcode right here. So this is actually selling on Amazon for $410. So you could make about $100 profit on this right here. I don't think I'm going to pick this up today, maybe some other time, but that is a neat find. And let's keep looking to see what else we can find. Superstar Racing, $12.50 was $30. Super Street the Game, $10. Bucks. But other than that, I don't see anything jumping out at me. Doom Eternal, that's not in the right spot right there. So yeah, I don't see any other video game stuff on clearance, but if our goal was to try to save as much money as we can, buying those three arcade machines would save about a thousand dollars. So anyways, let's go look at the toys. Let's see if we can find anything there. I think some of these Mario sets are on clearance. So we're gonna have to check that with the uh, Walmart app. And it says we don't sell this item. So obviously that's an error. And this one is selling for 40 bucks. Now this is normally a $56 set. I believe this is actually 
normally a $70 set, if I'm correct. MSRP on this, I think, is actually $69.99. This is actually on secret clearance. This is $40, bucks, normally $70, and I think that's almost like 40% off. So that's actually 42%, almost 43% off for this Super Mario set. So each one of these sets right here would be a $30 savings. I'm gonna take a little bit of time and I'm gonna go through and scan up and down and see what other sets I can find that are on clearance. And then we'll go through and add them up and see how much money we can actually save just by buying the clearance. All right, guys and gals, so we're doing really good. I've already found quite a few sets that are unmarked clearance, and I'm finding this through a couple methods. One, I had already looked on BrickSeek, so I already knew about some of these. Two, a buddy of mine named Kobe over at Big Cheese Thrifts had sent me a message warning me or kind of giving me the heads up that some Lego were on clearance already. So if you're into other clearance hunting videos and you wanna go support a friend of mine, Go check out Big Cheese Thrifts, subscribe to his YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. Leave a comment that says Justin sent me and I'll be forever grateful. I wanna make sure I'm supporting other people that are supporting me as well. So make sure to support your friends. And number three, I am spending a little bit of time going through and going up and down and scanning everything using the Walmart app. So as you guys can see, none of these are marked as clearance here in the store. You can't see any clearance stickers. There's no clearance tags or anything like that, except for this one. But I'm going up and down and scanning all of these items. So for example, this set right here, this is 71748. This set is scanning for 40 bucks. Now this set has an MSRP of $69.99. So that means that this set right here is $30 off. Now that's a pretty good deal. That's a pretty good discount. So for each one of these sets that we pick up, we're saving 30 bucks off of the MSRP price. Now, because they are unmarked, that means that I'm the only one that knows about it. Unless you guys go out and look for it, you might get lucky and find these at your store too. So each one of these is gonna be $30 saved. So let's see, we've got a couple of these right here. What was the other one here? We had this Resnar knockdown. That set was on clearance. I did scan some of the other Mario ones. This Lakitu Skyworlds on clearance as well. This is unmarked clearance. Unmarked clearance, that is 25 bucks. That is normally a $40 set. So each one of those sets right there is a $15 savings off of the MSRP. This Sumo Bro right here. And this one is going for 19 bucks. And this one is normally a $30 set. So that is an $11 savings right there. These smaller sets are on clearance as well but the discount isn't that great. These ones are seven bucks, so this would be a $3 savings each, but they're normally 10 bucks. So this, the discount isn't amazing on these. I'm probably gonna put these back, but I just wanted to show you guys that I am scanning all of the sets and not just the big ones here. This set right here is another one that's on clearance. This is another unmarked clearance set. This one is going for 25 bucks. It's normally a $40 set. It looks like there's a third party merchant selling it for 52 but this is normally a $40 set. So each one of these would be a $15 savings. As you can tell, we're doing really good. I've already found some clearance, unmarked clearance, and I'm gonna go through and scan a whole bunch more because we might just get lucky and find a whole bunch more through here. But so far, the money that we're saving is a pretty good discount. Now, something else to think about is if you're a reseller, would it be a good idea to pick these up right now? Well, it depends. The price on Amazon isn't necessarily great for these right now because these are still relatively new sets. So the discounts might not be that great. If you're a collector or you're buying for your family or for your kids or for birthdays or Christmas or whatever, now might be a great time to look for these kind of toys just to stock up while they're cheap. I am trying to think about my audience. I know I have some resellers watching. I know I just have some families watching that just enjoy this kind of stuff. Think about, you know, the discounts that I'm showing you, whether that might be worth it to you, or you could just wait longer and maybe find better discounts than me. I'm going to scan some more. We'll see what else we can find. And then we'll see how much money we save in one trip to Walmart. All right, guys and gals. So I went up and down and scanned the majority of all of these Lego here, and I didn't find a ton more on clearance. I did find this set right here. This set is going for 13. This is normally 20. 
Now, unfortunately, because the box is pretty beat up, I probably wouldn't sell this on Amazon, but I think I might buy this for myself. See the boxes right there. And customers expect the products from Amazon to be brand new and, and not beat up like this. So I might just buy this for myself, but that's a $7 savings right there. This set right here, this is a Lego City set. This is normally 40 and this is scanning for 25. So this is actually a $15 savings, but I'm probably not gonna pick this up because I generally, I'm not a fan of the city sets. So see, that's 25 bucks and that's normally 40. I'm actually gonna pass on this. This would have been a $15 savings. Make sure to remind you guys, I do try to say this in all my videos, but always make sure that you're scanning the top when you're scanning for discounts and stuff like that, because sometimes you can find hidden clearance stuff and it's just overstock up here. Resner set right here. The, this one is a $30 savings. There's actually multiple of them up there. So there's two, four, six, six more right there. So there's another $180 worth of savings right there if I wanted to pick all those up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up some of these Mario sets that I wanna pick up and then I will take it home and we'll break it down and we'll talk about how much money we can save on one trip. I'm also gonna check out the other aisles. Maybe we'll find something else that's good in the store. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys, this is on the BrickSeek app. I did know that some of these were gonna be here. The BrickSeek app isn't always accurate, but this did show that some of these were on clearance. If you're using the BrickSeek app or if you're interested in it, you can check out my playlist up here where I teach you how to use everything on the app. There's a free version, there's a paid version, but uh, it's good information if you're interested in finding this, finding out about this stuff first. So anyways, I'm gonna load up on some more Lego. We're gonna see what else we can find and then we will go through everything at the end and we'll talk about how much money we saved. So we are loaded up on the clearance Lego. Now, just to show you guys, I did not grab all the clearance Lego. We left the bro, Sumo bro. We left the B Mario, Frog Mario, Reznor knockdown down there. We left some other clearance sets that we're not gonna grab. So really quickly, without giving you too much information, how much do you think that our total savings is going to be? Not the total cost, the total savings. Let me know in the comment section below how much you think the total savings is going to be. I'm going to check out and then we'll go, we'll do a recap at the end and we'll find out how much we saved. What was your guess, Raven? What'd you say, 500? Yeah, like 500. All right, let's, let, let's see. So I think, I, think, I think 600. She thinks 600. You said 500. Do you have a guess? What's, what's your guess going to be after looking at all of these? Why don't you have any Lego cars with you? Well, I did grab a few Lego cars. There's a few Ninjago cars that oh, were on clearance. Yeah, yeah. So clearance? Clear clearance she says. Oh, Wait a minute. Hilarious. Moment of truth. Okay, six six hundred. Six hundred. Six ninety-seven twenty-eight. Still some pretty good guesses though. Yeah, yeah. Alright, just got home. And look who's so super excited to see me. Hey, little buddy, come here. Come here, Bernie. Oh, he's got his toy too. All right, very excited. I'm home with Bernie and I need to unload all of the Lego and then we will go through and figure out how much money we saved. Then uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. All right, we are back home. We've got all of the Lego unloaded and set out for your viewing pleasure. Bernie is in here, he's squeaking. He's super excited to be with you guys. If you want more of Bernie on camera, please feel free to drop a comment below. So very quickly, let's run through all of the sets that I picked up. Let's talk about how much we spent. And the goal of today's video was to see how much money we could actually save at one Walmart. Going through the sets, we bought 22 Lego sets total. Just kind of running through, we bought nine of the Resnor sets. That was the 71390. That was the long set, the long Mario set. That's normally 70 bucks. I paid $40 a piece. So a savings of $30 a piece there. I picked up three of the Ninjago Ninja subs. I also picked up three of the Ninjago Catamaran Sea Battle. That was the big set, the big Ninjago set. Those were normally 70, I paid 40. The Lakitu Sky World, which is another Mario set. I picked up two of those, I paid 40 bucks, and I'm sorry, I paid 25 bucks and those are normally 40, so there was $15 saved on each one of those units. I picked up the one Mandalorian Brickheads because I'm gonna, I'm gonna build those and put those in my collection because I thought they were pretty cool. I also picked up four of the Boss Sumo Bros Super Mario sets. Those are normally 30 and those were selling for 19. I did talk to a 
Walmart employee. She said that those items were on clearance, like sell through. So they were being told to kind of get rid of them. So there's no telling if they're gonna go on sale again, but I decided to pick some of these up since I found them at the store. These are sets that you can look out for in your local Walmart. You might find them at the same price. You might find them at a better price. But you gotta remember that every Walmart is different and every Walmart is on their own markdown schedule. So if you watch a video with me finding Lego on sale at my store, you might not necessarily find them at your store and vice versa. You might watch a video like mine and say, hey, those, uh, I, I, I found those on sale at my store, but Justin didn't find them at his store. So uh, don't get discouraged. Always take the time to just go through, use the Walmart app to scan stuff. If you pay for a Brickseek subscription, that can really help you as well, find that kind of stuff. Also, I share these kind of deals and stuff on my Instagram. If you're not following me already on Instagram, my link is in the description below. I do share tips and tricks. And uh, when I find stuff like this, I normally share it on my Instagram first before I make a video. If you want a heads up on stuff like that, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. But let's get into the numbers. This is everyone's favorite part because I know you guys love numbers. The total paid for all of these sets was $694. Now the total was actually $697, but that's because I picked up some chocolate chip muffins. Shout out chocolate chip muffins, you are delicious and I love you. But for the Lego, we spent $694 at one store. The total MSRP was $1,180. So if none of these were on sale, if they were all at full price, you would normally pay 1,180 bucks. That means that I saved a total off of MSRP of $486 today at this one trip to Walmart. That means there was a 41.19% saving. Now, let's talk about um, why this matters or who this is applicable to. Now, right now, the prices on Amazon aren't much higher than what I paid at Walmart. That means that right now, if I sold these on Amazon, after paying Amazon fees, I would actually lose money. So right now, buying these to resell on Amazon, is it worth it? No, it's not. But for someone like me who is a Lego investor and who knows that the value is gonna go up over time and I'm patient, I have no problem spending this money and holding on to these for six months to a year and then selling them after they've appreciated in value. Now, according to the sources that I have, these sets aren't retired yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if these were retired soon. So maybe in another video in a month or a few months from now when these are retired, I'll, or if they're retired, I'll update you guys. But for right now, they're not retired. This is kind of a risk, but all investments carry a risk of loss. Amazon sellers, if this is not the best time to pick these up, who is this good for? This is good for collectors. This is good for families. This is good for people that want to save 40% on Legos because Lego generally don't go on sale that often. If you want to buy these for yourself, kind of like I did for the Mandalorian one, you know, this could be a great time for you to pick these up. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it for you. This is a little different than what I normally do, but I just thought it would be fun to see how much money we could actually save uh, instead of trying to spend as much as we can. So we saved almost 500 bucks. So I thought that was fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor, smack that like button. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll talk to you later.